please subscribe and you can download this code from description below. Title, is this idiom pythonic? Some bool and true result or false result. Introduction Python is known for its readability and simplicity, but it also provides a wide range of features and idioms that can make your code more expressive and concise. In this tutorial, we will explore the idiom involving the use of an and or operators with a boolean value and two possible results. We will discuss whether this idiom is considered pythonic and provide code examples to illustrate its usage. Pythonic idiom the Pythonic idiom in question is using the and and or operators in a conditional expression with a boolean value, some bool, and two possible results, true result and false result. This idiom allows you to choose one of the results based on the value of some bool in a concise and readable manner. Code example. Let's start by looking at a basic example. Output. In this example, when some bool is true, the expression evaluates to true result. If some bool were false, it would evaluate to false result. Advantages of this idiom Is it Pythonic? While this idiom is concise and readable, it's not considered the most Pythonic way to achieve the same result, especially in Python 3. In Python 3, a more Pythonic approach is to use the conditional expression, also known as the ternary operator, because it is more explicit and avoids potential issues with the OR operator. Python 3 Example Output In Python 3, the conditional expression is preferred because it clearly states the conditions and results without relying on the behavior of the AND and OR operators. It is more explicit and less error-prone. Conclusion while the and and or idiom is valid and can be used in Python, it is not the most Pythonic way to achieve conditional expressions, especially in Python 3. Using the conditional expression, ternary operator, is considered a more explicit and Pythonic approach. However, you may still encounter this idiom in legacy code or from developers accustomed to Python 2, so it's essential to be aware of its existence and usage. Title, Refactoring Python Module Configuration to Avoid Relative Imports Introduction Python allows you to organize your code into modules and packages to keep it maintainable and organized. Sometimes, you might find yourself using relative imports within modules to access other parts of your code base. While relative imports can work, they can make your code less maintainable and harder to understand. In this tutorial, we will explore how to refactor Python module configuration to avoid relative imports, promoting cleaner and more maintainable code. We'll provide code examples throughout the tutorial. Before refactoring, consider the following directory structure for our Python project. Inside module1.py, we want to import a function from module2.py. To do this, we might use a relative import. This approach works but can become problematic as your project grows. Refactoring steps Add project root to sys.path To avoid relative imports, add your project's root directory to the sys.path list. This allows Python to find your project's modules regardless of where your script is run from. Organize your modules Organize your modules into a clear package structure within your project. Make sure that each module can be directly imported by its name, without using relative imports. Use absolute imports. With the project root added to sys.path, you can now use absolute imports in your modules. Import modules from your package using their absolute path. Run your script. Now. When you run your script, main.py, Python will be able to locate and import your modules using absolute imports, even if you run the script from a different directory. After refactoring With these steps in place, 
your code base becomes more maintainable and less dependent on the specific directory structure of your project. It also eliminates the need for relative imports, making your code more readable and easier to understand. Conclusion Refactoring your Python module configuration to avoid relative imports is a good practice as your project grows. It promotes cleaner code, eliminates potential issues related to relative imports, and makes your code more maintainable. By adding your project's root directory to sys.path and using absolute imports, you can ensure that your code remains organized and easy to work with as your project evolves. ChatGPT